Hi Darkroom Core users, Eugenie here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use a unsupported camera with Darkroom Core using the hot folder camera, or in this case, I'm using a supported camera in an unsupported way. So uh, this camera has Wi-Fi built into it. Uh, this would also work, let's say, if you had a, uh, a Wi-Fi transmitter that you've attached to your camera or uh, let's say a Sony or Fuji camera that has Wi-Fi and is able to transmit uh, using their own utility. I'm going to be using uh, a Canon utility, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on my camera. And um, as soon as it recognizes my camera across the network, it should open the EOS utility. And I'm going to go to... Um, select remote shooting. I've already set this up. Uh, you'll want to check with the manufacturer or the software that you're using on how to set up their application. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and um, right now my camera will capture to the desktop. I actually want it to go to this folder right here. So I'm going to click the folder option, browse, and select that folder. Another thing I'm going to want to uncheck is if it's putting it into a subfolder. Um, and I'll, I'll demonstrate real quick just so you can see. Um, let's go ahead and open that folder up. Take up a, a picture. And you can see that it's created a subfolder within this folder. And this would work, I can just tell Darkroom, look at this folder, but whenever I take a picture tomorrow, it's gonna go into a different folder, so then I'd have to reset up Darkroom. Let's go ahead and uh, make it a little bit more future-proof. We'll go ahead and uncheck uh, the option to put it in a subfolder. And I'm using my desktop. I wouldn't really recommend that. Um, it's better to put in a, a location that you'll just use all the time. But for right now, my desktop's gonna work okay for me. Uh, I'll just take another picture and verify that just the image is showing up in that folder, and it is. So we'll go ahead and delete that. The next thing we're gonna do, because we know this is working properly, we're gonna go to um, our capture options, and we're gonna select hot folder camera and then click tethered capture and then hot folder camera and this is different from the hot folder uh, input this is a specifically for using with the camera um, I'm gonna set my local folder to be that hot folder camera and then we'll click back, back on the photo library and let's close darkroom and just reopen it just to make sure that it took. If everything's done right, we should now be able to take a new picture, have it transmit into that folder, and then it automatically imports into Darkroom. One of the other things you can do from this uh, option is you can also auto print. So if you wanted to um, print a 4x6 every time you took a picture you could then select 4x6 from a uh, as a print option and it would automatically print to uh, whatever printer you had you can use a do a 2x6 and do like a, a photo booth where um, if you add a template and we'll go ahead and uh, try that if you add a template with multiple images then it would uh, then populate every time you take take a photo, and um, after three photos, it would then print with those three images on your photo strip. So more of a manual photo booth process. So that's how you would add the template there. Um, you can also automatically upload to eventgalleries.com. So every time. I take a picture
I want to upload a medium sized image. So now I take a, a new picture and well that's kind of cheating. It doesn't look that it looks the same. Okay. So now if I were to go to my event gallery page and go to galleries. Oops, it's still being created. But you can see it's already uploading and uh, my two images are already available that I just captured uh, wirelessly and transmitted and now um, I can have customers download and share those images. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Um, We'll see you next time.